Welcome back everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Today for the 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a 4.7. Not sure if it varies with the, the motor, their leader, but we're having idle issues. It'll like to dip down and raise back up, dip down, raise back up every so often. Sometimes the acceleration, when you go to hit the gas, you don't have to punch it hard, but it's just not as responsive every now and then. Sometimes it's just as responsive, sometimes it's not. So went ahead and uh, went and picked up a throttle positioning sensor. This one is an NTK. It's actually a line off of NGK, the spark plugs. So here's the part number. And here's the, the components that we're replacing. So go ahead and stick around. It shouldn't be too hard. It's usually relatively easy to get to. Just tear off the top part and uh, get to the sensor. So stay tuned. Okay, as far as the first steps, you got a vacuum hose here. That'll just pull right off. Then you got eight millimeters right here. I'll go ahead and pull this or loosen this one to take this in bo or intake box off. And you got two metal clips. All those are they're just kind of like hinged. You just pull up the tabs and lift up the box. Unscrew that. Okay, after you remove that, unplug your sensor right here. Don't want to yank that out. Then you have one two bolts, one on each side, 10 millimeter. You're gonna to wanna to loosen those up. My apologies, just like you had an eight millimeter here, you got one more that goes around the throttle body on the back. like that. That'll be what you would loosen up. All right. Use your throttle positioning sensor. This is what we're after. I'm going to want to take off this a little push tab here at the bottom. And then right here, you're going to have two Torx head screws. It's a T25. Go ahead and extract those. Okay, once you remove those, you should pull off just like that. Right here, you're gonna have, kind of look like a flathead screwdriver. That's gonna be the tab that fits in there. Okay, and then that's what controls it. So remember how you take it off the orientation. It was just like this. Right inside that little opening. Should come with a new O-ring and a gasket. I'm not seeing a gasket on this one. I don't know if it's been replaced before in the in the past, and they didn't put the gasket on. Who knows? That could have been what caused it because I see a little bit of corrosion around it. All right. As far as the the new hardware and stuff, here you go. This is the new one. This is the gasket I was talking about, and then your new O-ring, and I'm going with hardware too. All right, as far as the O-ring goes, just put it right around it and try not to drop it. Wouldn't want to have to recover it. All right, goes right around it like so. Right. Ask it. You're gonna want to put that on it just like that. Okay, get it all ready. Get a screw in there. Okay, so it kind of holds everything together. And then make sure it all lines up. You shouldn't have to force nothing. Yes. 
second screw. Because of this part, I wouldn't use an impact. I'll go ahead and use a, a ratchet and make sure your threads don't cross. All right, once you're tightened up, go ahead and plug it back in. Make sure it's pushed on there all the way and it clips. You reverse the steps that you took to get to it. So you're gonna put the air box back on. You got the two 10 millimeters on the side and the hose clamp on the back with eight millimeter. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it gets all the way around this because if, if it's not all the way around it, you'll have a, a leak, an air leak, and you don't want that either. Next, you're going to want to plug in your mass airflow sensor, make sure it clips. Next step, put back your air box cap on it, your intake. Remember, you got a vacuum line here that goes there. If you want to replace your filter, now's the time to do it. Might as well, you're already here. like that. Don't forget to tighten that down. You don't want air leaks. All right. <clears throat> see what we got. Seems to be idling just fine. Sounding good, just fine. A lot better, but time will tell. All right, and there's the process for the throttle positioning sensor for a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee. 4.7 liter. Again, I don't know if it's the same sensor for multiple different motor sizes, the V6, the bigger V8, but hopefully this helps. Had idle issues. It just kind of fluctuated up and down every now and then. It wasn't that responsive, so time will tell if this was an actual fix. As far as anything else goes, about to change the spark plugs. I mean, if you know anybody that, you know, is nervous to do spark plugs, it's not, not that bad of a job, but then again, you know, some people are just leery on it. So maybe the next video of me doing the spark plugs will give a little confidence to them or maybe even you. So any questions, comments, leave them down below, please. I love the feedback. Any tips, anything like that that you might have? Any other ideas that it could be for the idle issue? Go ahead and throw them down there. But until then, I, I'm just gonna drive it around with this new sensor, maybe that'll help. So thank you for watching.